Hey, ladies and gentlemen, it is Tuesday, Taco Tuesday. Uh, tall tales, I don't have any tall tales. I've got a couple of tall tales, but I'm actually sitting with a legend. Marine Corps legend, Lieutenant General Chuck Pittman, who's my old neighbor, and we just went out and had breakfast this morning. And I was gonna ask him, we were talking about uh, helicopters. And what was your favorite helicopter that you flew in the, in the Marine Corps, sir? I think the H-46, I have more time in that <clears throat> and in, in combat. Uh, it's uh, pretty pretty good technology for the, its time period. Now and, what about the H-34, <clears throat> how, how long did you fly that in Vietnam? One tour? Uh, yes, just the first time and uh, I flew it other places I did. A rescue <clears throat> mission out of Iwakuni, Japan for a period of uh, a year before going to Vietnam. And uh, then I went to Vietnam. I was actually in a jet squadron. <clears throat> and I went down to Vietnam and they were flying 34s. So I got back in it again <laughs> and had some, some great experiences. Uh, it's very maneuverable. It's uh, not as large as some of the more modern birds, so you could get in tighter zones and so forth. Well, it was a big recip engine, right? Yes. So, did you ever get shot down in the uh, H-34? Did the VC get you? Yes, uh, of course. Uh, <clears throat> only once in the 34, the rest of the time was times, seven times, or uh, in Hueys and 53s and 46s. And, and uh, really, you'd think I'd learn faster, you know, that was kind of crazy. <laughs> anyway. What about, uh, the? You, I saw your plaque inside with the uh, two brass balls on there. That was, who, who gave you that plaque? That was from the New Orleans, uh, city of New Orleans for... Uh, taking out a sniper on the roof of a hotel and who had eventually, before I got there, he killed 13 people. And uh, I borrowed one of my helicopters and went down and took the police up along with a couple of Marines and we were able to neutralize get rid, the get sniper. rid of them, yes. <laughs> Turn them into Swiss cheese? Mm-hmm. Did, uh, was there ever any blowback from uh, headquarters about doing that? Well, not from headquarters, but uh, they were surprised. I remember General Miller was very, very surprised. <laughs> but Did they, but did they the, threaten to harm your career and there was somebody that protected you? Uh, yeah, the Undersecretary of the Navy decided that I had uh, violated posse comitatus, which uh, doesn't permit the use of military force against civilian criminals except in a case of life and death. And uh, instead of the court-martial, uh, Eddie Aber, our local congressman, uh, talked to the Secretary of Defense, Melvin Laird, and, and uh, said, that's my boy. <laughs> and they uh, gave me an Air Medal and a Leadership Award. <laughs> in, in lieu of a court-martial. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it didn't harm, didn't harm your career. I mean, you made it to three stars. Well, God, that's awesome. What is your most memorable time flying in the Marine Corps? Was there ever a incident or a, a time that you just said, oh, man, you just saw your, your life before your eyes and said, what am I doing no, here? No, you, you know, people want to know, like, oh, were you worried or scared? or uh, You're so busy trying to <laughs> keep going. Yeah. That you don't have time to think about. I'm scared or worried. You yeah. know what you're you're trained to do, and you do it. And it's so. I don't think I had many uh, frightening moments. Occasionally under under ground fire when uh, when I was on the ground. I right. Get uh, in the air. You don't have time. You, you either make it or you don't. Well, I've got a bunch of Marine buddies that are probably uh, watching this, like Jim Kazin and Dan Hodge, uh, 46 guys, and A.J. McAnally, who was my squadron CO.
-hmm. He was a 46 transition guy too as well. And we got a young guy on here named uh, MJ Harris. Uh, MJ's a Osprey dude. So do you have any advice for young MJ uh, as he goes out on his next Mew flying the Osprey? Well, that's, uh, that's a great machine and it uh, caused a lot of pain financially and otherwise coming up. Uh, and I was uh, deeply involved in that when they canceled the V-22 program, the Secretary of Defense uh, canceled it. And I remember the Commandant came back to my, came to my office and uh, opened the door and said, fix it. And he shut the door and walked off. <laughs> so we were fortunately able with a team from Bell and from the Marine Corps uh, to put it together and get it going again. So it's good, great. Well, I certainly do appreciate you doing that, sir, because that, that actually was the helicopter. I was in OCS in 1987 watching the prototype fly around uh, Quantico. And so when I was going through, they'd say, what do you want to fly? And I'm like, I'm going to fly 46 as a transition to the Osprey, which was, wasn't even in the fleet. So nobody could give you a hard time. Like if you said, oh, I'm going to fly jets. And it turns out the guy's a helo guy. So he'd give you poor grades. <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of a, a neutral deal. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. It's taco time with the general and you have a great time. Hoorah, Simplify.